Hey everybody, welcome to Glorious Debauchery, Will Heal from at Sam the Earthling on Twitter. Today we are going to pick the winner of November's giveaway. We're going to be flying Gabe anywhere in the continental U.S. and he'll do a personal magic show for you and your friends. Be sure to become a 420 Club member to be eligible to win in the next giveaway. Sign up at patreon.com slash getting Doug. Gabe, get in here. Let's do this. So exciting. A, a bowl full of names. Oh, look at your name could be falling out of the bowl right now. You could be losing your chance to have Gabe come to you. Are you nervous? Mm -hmm. We're going to find out where you have to go as soon as I narrow it down to just one of these. That's a way to do it. Right? There's only one name in the bowl now. And it is. <clears throat> Oh, no. <laughs> it's Cody York in Somerset, Kentucky. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I don't know what part of Kentucky that's in, but maybe there's a bigger city close by. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll go to Somerset. Sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks, Gabe. Let's do some plugs for Doug. I'm going to be at the Irvine Improv December 27th, the Sacramento Punchline December 29th, Levity Live in Oxnard, California in uh, 2017. That's on January 10th. And all of my dates are at DougLovesMovies.com. Enjoy the show. Off. Here we are in the spaceman again with an oldie and a newbie. Two of my favorite dudes. It's Matt Jones and Zach Perlman, everybody. Hey, hey what's up, dogs? <laughs> That's all my uh, fans. I call them dogs. All right. Yeah, it's kind of my own thing. You're on... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shameless. Yeah. Which is a show that I, I already loved before you showed up on it. Ooh, and so I was happy to see you on there. Yeah. Um, but when is the, is the current season? I didn't see last night's episode. Did you live through last night's episode? Yeah. yeah. Have, we, have you had to do nudity on there yet? Um, I was in a bath. Because every time an actor or actress shows up on that show, I go, well, I'm going to see them naked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you it's only, pretty I much a guarantee. I think you only see my, um, my like... Shoulders yeah, so you, and my arms. You caught a break. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. I tend to do <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to taking my clothes off. Yeah, yeah. Most you, people are like, you didn't take your clothes off. You're in the chill, intern. dude. You look good with your clothes on. <laughs> Keep your you're clothes on. You're chill as back. hell. Actually, Zach, it's chill if you come fully clothed every day. Do you know if you're uh, like in the next season? Like, how far ahead do they tell you? Because that um, show characters sort of come and go. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but... Um, but you're done shooting this season. I'm done, done shooting this season. Oh, it's 19 minutes after the hour, which uh -oh. means it's almost 420 somewhere. Mm, 420 somewhere. We've got um, that's cool. a couple different uh, options for you guys today. We've got a sativa that's called Cherry AK-47. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then an indica called Tahoe OG. Which one cool. is this? I, I load everything with sativa. You have to go. Great. You got to ask for the indica special okay. if you want Can I hit, indica. Hit that. Do you like this big thing? Big bang bonger. You like the fruit stripe? Yeah. I mean, I do. Contrary to popular belief, I don't really smoke weed. That's what you're <laughs> so, known for, Matt. That's I know. Like I'm your known for being a card. stoner a total and I don't, weed guy. Yeah. All the time. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are kind of like, it feels like you're a body switch movie because that hat is the kind of hat that uh, Badger would mm -hmm. wear on uh -huh. Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's also That's the kind of hat I'd wear when I didn't take a shower. What up, <laughs> you have to, uh, but you have to keep the beard for, you can't just suddenly not have a beard on Shameless if, if they're going to no, do more I could with shave you. it. You could? <laughs> yeah. It grows back that fast? Yeah. Hold on. I think <laughs> Matt wants to say something. Matt? You got something for us, Matt? No. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you'll get that scratchy voice you've been wanting yeah. as a character actor. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Oh, boy. Well, yeah. What were, what were you going to say? I don't know. Oh, all right. Uh, 
Yeah, it's gonna hit that, son. Oh, sorry, dog. Yeah, it's, oh. that, it's that time. We did it. Oh God. It's of course it's 420 in Houston, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, mm. Mexico City, Mexico, of course. Of course, dude. <laughs> Uh, Minneapolis, New Orleans. We're Buenos smoking Dias. with the best, dude. Winnipeg, Canada. Yay, Yay Canada. Canada. Canada gets better and better every day. Welcome to Canada, dude. It really does. It's 420. It really improves all the time. Uh, <laughs> I get. I could. I could shave it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't I, want you to give too I'm much going, away. I'm but going I'm, to Japan. Uh, no, I'm not giving anything away by saying I, I yeah, can shave yeah, my beard. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to Japan, and there's a part of me that just like wants to shave and shave my beard and cut my hair, so when I come back, no one knows that I came back. Mm. And I could just blend right into society. I'm not really following you. Yeah, I cool. look like a 14 year old boy. I could re enroll for high school. Oh right, you well, don't you want to keep playing face. those parts? Don't you want to keep playing kids and stuff? You're at the thought uh, like you I don't could know. do. If you could only do high school over again, what you do differently? He could actually do it. Dude, right. I could finally do it. I could have you could 21 a jump brand street new, that shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, brand new experiences where uh, I think I could go in really cool and everyone's like, you're lame as hell. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -mm. I'm 12 years older. I'm old, so I'm a fucking lame-o. Yeah. It sucks the, yeah. to realize yeah. that, like, if you're old, you're lame now. Yeah. It's not a I good, like being old. If you're old, be. you're lame. I like Sorry, being, dog. I, I like being older because I don't... Um, because you're Care lame. as much. <laughs> right, yeah, that, but, that's good. But I mean, good. almost, I don't care about anything, but, uh, <laughs> which is bad. But uh, I just don't fucking care as much. That's the best part about being older. Can All we, right. Can we get a quick close up on me? Yeah, get in tight on you Zach. Ready? Whoa. I'm a demon. That was, that was, I've never seen somebody do that with that pipe before. That was pretty neat. I like this one because it's very Lord of the Ringsy. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, we, uh, it's our mini Gandalf. We used to have a big Gandalf, but a stupid oaf broke it. Uh, who was that? Probably me. Um, listen, Matt, <laughs> you're the star, you're the title character on Mom. And uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that, show, that show deals with uh, mm -hmm. alcoholism quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, does the subject of weed ever come up on that show? With my character. Your character My smokes? character on the show is a huge stoner. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. Smokes weed all the time. But you don't you don't get, you don't do it anymore yourself. I know I honestly I never really did it. I mean I kind I guess I did when I was Well, how are you feeling like 15 so 15 years ago, I guess. Um good. I'm good. Yeah, you're enjoying it? I'm a big boy. It's a good process, good uh, good feeling. I lived in Amsterdam for 3 years. Holy shit. Uh I actually I don't know if I ever told you this. I hosted an event 2004. Yeah, I hosted a Canvas Cup, a couple events, uh -huh. and you did marijuana logs like that same night. Oh, okay. And it was the one of the weirdest events I've ever hosted because the whole crowd, because everyone's smoking. Everybody's smoking, but it was freezing there, right? So everybody was wearing like these huge coats, yeah, and like hats and everything. They look like a bunch of like snow people in the crowd. Yeah. And then everybody's moving super slow. <laughs> like they're dance music on, but nobody's actually dancing. <laughs> they're just like walking around smoking weed. It's the weirdest event. Yeah, it's a mellow, uh, it's a strange environment to do comedy because if people aren't, you know, they're not fired uh, up. They're just, they're just yeah. chill. They're just so chill, you know. But yeah, I worked at Boom Chicago there. Honestly, oh, okay. the yeah, best yeah. five minutes you could do is just like, wow, wow, wow. I bet you'd have the entire audience like, hell yeah, this guy's Is that where we did marijuana logs? Uh, yeah, uh, at Boom. Boom. Yeah. yeah, we did it at Boom once. It was once you and, and Seth and... I think the previous year, we did it at the, that place, the Milk Vag? Milk Vag. Milk Vag? Yeah, we did it there uh, Which the previous year. Milk Vag is the Milky Way. Or the year later, I forget. But yeah, Seth Morris was there with us uh, at that point with me and uh, Tony Kameen. My point was, I lived in Amsterdam for three years, and I never really smoked weed in Amsterdam. Cause, really? Because, like, Dutch people kind of look down on it. Yeah, they're not into it. They're like, oh, you smoking weed, you fucking tourist. And I yeah, so yeah. I didn't do it. But uh, I did do a lot of ecstasy. <laughs> Dude, that's uh, so and funny. And mushrooms. That's funny time. to go to a place where you're like, you smoking weed, you tourist? Take some X, idiot. <laughs> I swear to, yeah. No, I know, no, I've been yeah. there. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> It's yeah. like, oh, I didn't realize I had to be hype. But the crazy thing about living there is like people would come up to you and just be like, like just off their ass, 
on whatever, doing whatever, and like being so crazy. They'd be like, come on out with us. I'm like, oh man, it's fucking Tuesday. It's Tuesday for me. I know it's like your vacation, but like I gotta like, bathe and brush my teeth and shit. <laughs> like, like it's like living in Vegas. Like how do you not die all the time? Yeah, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> They're pretty good at it, those people that live there, I guess. But um, what about your high history, Matt? When did you... Uh, when did you my whole own high history. When did you first try it? I first tried weed, I was probably 13. I think I was like 13. It was in my friend's garage. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Then we drank a bunch of peppermint schnapps and got sick. <laughs> Because it tastes like skunk. Alcohol has to go and ruin everything. It really yeah. did. Yeah, you could have yeah. had a nice mellow time with your 13-year-old friends. And then you decided to drink the Listerine of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> but then when I got a little older, we sold some of it to get by. Uh, some of the peppermint schnapps. No, no, no. So we used to sell weed out of our apartment. Am I getting in trouble saying this? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't think yeah, so. Dude. God, I hope my parents I think, I think they can minority report arrest you in the yeah. past, <laughs> so you're fucked. But, uh, yeah, like, I'm a California boy, born and raised, L.A., my whole life. How come so. there's only one hey, of these? Hey, dude. Sell cop, brother. Yeah. I'm from Michigan. Yeah, I guess. Am I missing the other one? <laughs> what? We used to have two of these. Now there's just one here. Mm. Uh-oh. I don't there's know what happened cat. to it. You want to check it out, though? What is it? It's just a lighter. Oh, nice. It's broken. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, it's, a, right? it's fun to hold, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah How does it feel to you? Uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's a monkey. Yeah. This is the first time I ever smoked weed. What? This is? This is it? You oh, faked wow. it when you were on the show before? Every single time. And I'm every not. time we've ever hung out, I faked it. You're spicy. This is the first time. time. I feel crazy. I'm going to throw something out there. I, I feel high. I don't believe you. Well, I'm hungry. Does anyone you. have any cake? I'm sorry you didn't <laughs> win the drawing, Dan, from Mission Viejo. Fuck, that would have been cool. Yeah, I'm just going to name off people who didn't win. Taylor Fulton from Sioux City, Iowa didn't Ooh. win. Can I get one of those sad people? How yeah. many places, how many of these places have you been? Oh, I've been to lots of them. Crystal Randall, San Diego, California. Oh, I've been, I've been there. You're spending some time alone. Uh, Clint Dennis, uh, on his it says everywhere. Mm. I haven't oh. been there. Clint Dennis well, is all I'm, around I'm us. I'm 100% happy you guys didn't pick his name. <laughs> yeah, I don't, Gabe doesn't want to go everywhere. <laughs> Gabe's trying to chill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, State of Pot, Washington D.C. is still the the place that watches this show more than any anywhere else. Really? Per capita, yeah. What? Yes. What show? This, this show? show. Wow. This show. <laughs> <laughs> For, <laughs> forgot we were on a show. This is a show, Zach. What? Can that? you believe it? Cameras. What yeah. is that? Is that a camera? Mm-hmm. We got a few nice. of them in here. Did you bring that from home? Is that a home cam? Is that a home cam? All right. <laughs> you want to get into some pot topics? Yeah. Sure. Pot topics. <laughs> <laughs> that was a suspenseful yeah, one. Every, yeah. I was like, got, is it going to happen? Everyone got high. All right. Here's the first pot topic. Pot topic. Uh, weed and the NBA mm. is the title of this one. Mm. Chauncey Billups, Tracy McGrady, Jalen Rose, and Michelle Beadle yep. discussed the NBA's marijuana policy on NBA Countdown. Um, do you guys watch NBA Countdown? No. I do. I, I do. don't. Really? I don't know anything about the NBA, but I knew all of those names except Michelle Beadle. Michelle Beadle hosts uh, Sports Nation. So he's just a host? She. She, sorry. <laughs> I've met Michelle, Matt, she's I, not a French man. Well, Michelle. Who knows? <laughs> who knows, dude? I am Michelle, and I'm know, here dude. to tell you about the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Michelle. <laughs> Welcome to the NBA. Uh, the three former uh, players agreed that the NBA should change its policy, especially taking into account the fact that marijuana could be a safer alternative to alcohol and painkillers. Oh, painkillers is the big one, of course. Yeah. But it's CBD just like, did. it's so stupid because if they're playing the Denver Nuggets, it's legal. But if they're playing the Phoenix Suns, it's not. <laughs> it's so stupid. Chauncey Billups added that he thought some players that smoked before a game were better able to deal with their anxiety and focus on the game. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I disagree with that. I, I couldn't play basketball high. Really? Mm -mm. You're doing great at being on a talk show high. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which brings us to our next segment. We're all going to play basketball. Are you excited? Oh, would you just, what would you do? You just chuck the ball into the stands and things like that? <laughs> no, I just, I, I'm, I'm, too ha I'm too loving, you know what I mean? Oh, you wouldn't be competitive? I, I would be competitive, but I would be Because people get high and play positive. video games, and they're super competitive at that. No, but I'd be too positive about it. I would be like, the other guy made him shot. I'd be like, you know what? You just made a great shot. Good on you, yeah. You, you really impressed me. A lot of compliments. Me. Yeah, a lot Running of Running around complimenting people. <laughs> At the top of the key. <laughs> I respect you as a player. I do. You get you go in for high fives when the opposing team hits Absolutely. free hey, man, throws. That's great. Yeah, that's get great. In their heads. That honestly, yeah. I've never seen that, and that a hundred percent should be a mental <laughs> yeah. game, dude. Warriors Start. head coach Steve Car Kerr, Kerr admitted that he tried using cannabis to deal with back pain mm. and believes the players should be able to do the same. Yeah. So everybody's really uh, stepping up. About I like this. that it's still admitted and not just like he said. Right. <laughs> he like, confessed. He confessed under with a gun to his head yeah. that he had inhaled weed. Man, Brandon, was that? you and Brandon Marshall. You could also get somebody to tell you to say what you want to say to you, if you hold some gum to their head. Also, like if you threaten to put a wad of gum in somebody's hair. I bet they'd ad admit that they. Smoke you ever weed. get gum in your beard? No. Ooh. That'd be bad. No. I uh, <laughs> refrain from blowing <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> It's a real sad life. You're, uh, or you're, any uh, other chip? You know who Brandon Marshall is? <laughs> who? Brandon Marshall. He's a football player. He's an analyst. And the other day, they were like, hey, when you were playing with the Bears and you played in uh, Dallas, what happened in that game? And he's like, to be honest, I was on so many painkillers, I don't remember playing in that game. Yeah, well, there's that one That's, dude. Some real shit. Wasn't there yeah, doing the pitch crazy. to no hitter on acid? Did yeah, that but that's what? that's oh less... yeah, no no. He pitched a no no. <laughs> yeah, there's a documentary about it. It's yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, uh, yeah, no no. But the painkiller one is sad. The other one's like that's hilarious, man. You did acid, <laughs> but the painkiller one's like oh fuck. Oh man, I talked to this older guy. Oh. This is a totally different topic. <laughs> Let's, say Let's an, talk about older guys. No, he's yeah. like an older. Oh, dude, Let's switch the subject to older guys. He's like an older, respected <laughs> uh, older guys, actor that can't say his name, <laughs> but older, respected actor who worked a lot in the seventies. He worked on like Disney kids movies. Yeah. And he said everybody's on coke all the time. Oh, that's cool. And he's like, if you didn't do coke, then you Sheesh, were dude. you were considered like a bad person to hang out with on set. Yeah, because everybody else has a nice energy about them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah a nice, intense, uh, in-your-face energy. <laughs> hey, uh, dancing. It. I want to know what old actor this was now. I can't. Let's go around t talking shit about all of his co-workers, bunch of cokeheads, mm -hmm. <laughs> working on Disney movies. Dude, we should no turn. Less. We should turn getting Doug with high into TMZ. Really? How do you do that? Let's do, do it. you want to do that when we come back in the next segment? We'll only yeah, talk we'll, about gossip. We'll only <laughs> we'll talk gossip. about gossip. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood Gossip. I don't even know who half the people are anymore. This is uh, this is how I would do it. I would I would uh, you know have a water bottle oh, and yeah, I'd yeah, stand yeah. behind Har my chair yeah. and Harvey talk to Levine. you guys about. All right, what else? <sighs> Who else is smoking weed? Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I Did got you guys a hear story. that uh, Kanye and Trump had a meeting and they smoked weed the whole time? That's what I heard. Trump you know, Tower happened today. I need a pin I can click like this a lot. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I heard about that. That's what that guy does. Oh, boy. That was only one pot topic, and we got to go to break already. So we're going to come back with a lot more pot topics. And uh, lots more <coughs> spinning, and maybe maybe someone's gonna vomit. I'm not gonna vomit. Anything could happen today. Thanks for being <laughs> with us, and we'll be right back. CISO, spelled S-E-E-S-O, -E -E is the new ad-free streaming service bringing you hilarious original series, hand-picked classics, weeks of stand-up specials, and more. Every episode of SNL, ever, including new episodes the day after they air. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and Late Night with Seth Meyers the day after they air. And they even have classics like 30 Rock, Parks and Recreation, and Saved by the Bell. British comedies like The Original Office with Ricky Gervais, the entire Monty Python catalog, The IT Crowd, and Steve Coogan as Alan Partridge. Discover the next big names in comedy and watch the icons before they made it big. CISO is ad-free and just $3.99 per month. Last night I watched Bajillion Dollar Properties from the minds behind Reno 9-11. 
<laughs> 911 and Comedy Bang Bang. It was hilarious. You want the best new original comedy? You want CISO. And right now, my listeners can try CISO for free for two months when you use the promo code Doug, D-O-U-G, at checkout. Shows you can't get anywhere else from critically acclaimed original series like Take My Wife or Harmon Quest to all 40 plus years of SNL. CISO is the only place that offers every episode ever made and the new episodes the day after they air. Just go to CISO, S-E-E-S-O dot com right now to sign up for two months free with the promo code Doug at checkout. That's CISO dot com, promo code Doug. I was sitting there like freaked out and the writer, was Seth Meyers running, came with the script, hands it to me, slams it, you know, and I'm like, and I'm like shaking and there's no video. Oh, it's awful. And Jenna's like, there's no video. Just, I point to you, just start talking. So she points me and I read the thing again. I trip over a couple words. It's a long thing. It was like three pages and I trip over some, you know, I'm doing it and I finish. Oh. And I sit down, and Pardo was in the booth with me the whole time, and I sat on his lap, and he goes, he goes, hey, get off of me. <laughs> Don, I'm sorry. And then he went, it's Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I was like, Don, you were there the whole time. <laughs> like, the whole time I was shitting my pants, like, oh, fuck. Don was just sitting there like an old elevator attendant, you know, like, like, waiting to do his thing and then get back on a plane to Florida. You know? <laughs> we did it, you guys. How many times have we watched that uh, thing with Bill Hader and Norm? It's an ad for Norm's show. Norm doesn't even talk. He just sits there the whole time. It's a good story, though. That is a great story. <laughs> is that a lighter near your dick, or are you just happy to be here? Both. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double. We're here, if you're just joining us, uh, we're here with Zach Perlman, uh, the lead, lead, the title character on Shameless, and Matt Jones. <laughs> yep. Uh, from Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're 13 months a mother, He's the right? weed guy yeah. on Mom. Yeah. Yep. And does it, do the characters, do you get a lot lectured a lot for being a stupid weed guy on, no, on there? No, no, it's a lot of jokes about it. Everybody's cool about Everybody's it? Everybody's pretty cool about it. <laughs> do I think they're a lot more pro-weed than they are. They're, <laughs> I think the show's kind of pro-weed, uh, anti-alcohol. Yeah, That's well, it's very anti-alcohol. That's cool. The whole point of it is alcohol's a bummer. I mean, not super. It is a bummer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's dig, dig back into some pot topics, you guys. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Jesse Ventura. There's a name. Yep. Next yeah. topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it says Jesse Ventura at the top of this thing. Oh, he's uh, he's uh, got a new book, I guess, and uh, it's called Jesse Ventura's Marijuana Manifesto. Yeah. Cool, man. That's why I just don't want to see the words marijuana and manifesto no. next to each other. He's such a conspiracy theorist, too. It's yeah, I mean, he's a total conspiracy theorist. I bet you he thinks weeds from, like, space. Mm. He's like, yeah. you know, landed on a comet, <laughs> and that's why it gives you such great ideas. Why is he... That was your Jesse Ventura no, just, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him, and I who never did, have to who do did it again. That sound? that sound like somebody else. Um, yeah, that was, sound like do it was, again. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how it came out of me. Well, here's a quote from him uh, where he's, because he goes on and on about how George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, they all grew cannabis, hemp, multi purpose crop, and uh, the, the American flag was made out of hemp, I guess. Yeah. 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 The American flag was made on a How hemp. could it be any more <laughs> al- <laughs> How could it How be How could it be any, any more, more all American than that? How could it be any more all American than that? Yeah. <laughs> that's what he said. Is that Jesse? Yeah, yeah that's, that's my I, that's I my was, James Adomian doing. Yeah, of Jesse. course. Yeah. It's all every good impression is you're just doing the person who does the impression the best. <laughs> yeah. You should yeah, do their version true. of it. <laughs> well, I did this I did this cartoon for Nickelodeon. And um, they used to have James come in, and he did President of the Planet, and it was his Jesse Ventura voice. Uh-huh. And it was really, really funny. It's just this big dog that sweats a lot. And the show was amazing. And the dog is President of the Planet. And, and yeah, and it was, 
What's the show Adomian. called? Adomian. It's called Pig Goat Banana Cricket. That was Pig. Right. There's John, uh, if Johnny Ryan's If you're just going to sit here and make right? things up. Oh, if you smoke that, weed, by the way, you'd love that, that Johnny, show. Is that Johnny Ryan's show? Johnny Ryan's show, yeah. yeah Johnny Ryan, great comic book artist. Yeah, phenomenal also, comic book cool artist. cool-ass dude. He's also out What's of his What's up, movie? Johnny? I know you're not watching. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, moving on to Minnesota. Cool. Their Department of Health announced last Thursday that veterans and other residents suffering post-traumatic stress disorder will be allowed to use medical marijuana starting in August of 2017. Mm. Good. Yeah. Cool. A little, little behind. I mean, they might as well just straight up legalize it, but you know, at least they're doing something. I like Minnesota. Uh, but the the rule explicitly bans smoking or using the full plant. They can only use, what? Oils, capsules, and vapors or something like that. Mm. Tight, dude. <laughs> dude, I, Minnesota, Minnesota's a fucking vape nation, I did. I did with this girl from Minnesota once and we went to her family's house for Christmas and it was so cold. Like it was like negative 32 degrees outside. Yeah, yeah. It was insane. Yeah, it gets very cold there. And it was so cold that I was like, I said to her mom, I was like, what if you like tripped and fell to the car? She's like, well, then you die. Like, when the f snow melts in Minnesota, they find like dead bodies all over the place. Yeah. Oh. So all these people that just died because it was so cold. That sucks. It's pretty <laughs> oh, amazing. No. Why would you live there? Well, downtown they have those the, the sky bridges. Yeah, and underground. They got, you can get from building to building without going outside. Yeah. But still. It gets brutally cold there. Yeah. That was fun. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> it's cold. So it's too cold. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. It's like too cold and too hot, but like spring and fall are like. <laughs> How is this real? <laughs> it's so beautiful. Those two weeks of each of those. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're getting that, shorter. That and shorter. one month is. <laughs> the extreme temps seem to be a big uh, part of our our future. Uh, Massachusetts. Secretary of State William F. Galvin warned last week that the measure legalizing marijuana might have to be delayed. But now he's saying that that won't be necessary. Is this story really that somebody said something was going to happen and then it's not going to happen? <laughs> that's the story? <laughs> that's, gov that's government. It's all right. Hey. <laughs> it I looks like growing phone? marijuana at home will become legal in Massachusetts this Thursday. Great. That's the bottom line. Is this an ashtray? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's a Pokeball. Oh. Use that to uh, make it all. Oh! Isn't that great? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> There's a commercial for it. Yeah. Oh, wow! <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's and then cool. the bottom's, very, the bottom's very got nice. made of rubber so the ashes don't stick to it. You can just dump, dump it out in the garbage. Oh, wow, that's yeah. good. Do it on the table. Or into your pet's mouth, mm. or an aquarium, mm. or God, there's so many fun places uh, you can put your, your ashes. Your front yard. Yes, uh, the front yard. And put if it somebody there. says anything, say it, it's my late grandfather's. Yeah. You throw the ashes everywhere. Oh, and or on your on your face if you're yeah. that one religion. Or you can put it in your grandfather's. <laughs> put a little right there. Yes. You I'm can real, put it in your grandfather's. What? what religion? Christianity. Is oh right. Ash. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm Jewish, I don't know. I saw that uh, Scorsese movie, Silence, about uh, about uh, priests trying to get uh, oh, people in Jesus. Japan to uh, change from Buddha to to, God, to Jesus. That's terrifying. Yeah, it was brutal. Mm -mm. Brutal experience. Two hours mm -mm. and 40 minutes of torture, both in the movie and and for me personally. Oh, that's, that doesn't sound fun. No. Hmm. Oh, not fun at all. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. <laughs> One of the least fun movies I've ever seen. That was Requiem for a it's Dream. right up there with... Requ Requiem for a Dream had funny parts. <laughs> <laughs> there was, There's some there pretty was, funny there parts. Refrigerator, the refrigerator. Didn't the refrigerator talk at one point? Uh, I think yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. While she's on pills. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be on television. It was that That old. part was fun. Yeah, that was funny. She was yeah, robbed, though, that Ellen really, Burstyn. She should have won the Oscar for that, right? She absolutely should have. She yeah. absolutely should have. I think she lost to like Julia Roberts for Aaron Brockovich or something like no that. No way, really? Some, oh, it look might it have been. Oh, yeah, look it up. Internet yeah. in your pocket. Oh, bitch. Dude, the coolest thing about smartphones is their little computers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
that you can just take pictures of your penis with. What was I just talking about? <laughs> right going for a drink. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> they should have put Ellen Burstyn in the supporting category for that movie. Mm -hmm. Then she probably would have won. I met her. She's really, <coughs> really cool. She did a thing on Mom. She played Alice and Janney's mom on Mom. mom. I mix her up once in a while with Louise Fletcher. Who's that? She played Nurse Ratchet in uh, Cuckoo's Nest. But they were both. Did you? Are you really just like Cuckoo's Nest? What? I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in Cuckoo's Nest when they make the remake. Can't wait for dude. sure. You'll play Martini. He's the guy that uh, Danny DeVito says, I, "Yeah, I bet a nickel." He says it over and over again. You keep saying, "I I've bet seen a nickel." It. I just don't remember what that woman looks like. <laughs> she won the Oscar for that. That's cool. And Jack won, and the movie won Best Picture. That doesn't happen very often. Where they all three. All three. Did the director win? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yes. Milos Forman. And Milo. it probably also won Best Adapted Screenplay. Michael uh, Douglas was CGI. a producer on that movie. One movie? So he won an Oscar best for that for effects. producing it. One movie? Yeah, it had great special effects. Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> right, 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 right. Some of the best special effects. Yeah. The Did, entire I character a, of I, the I, Indian I, is a CGI. I was gonna, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Colossus and Deadpool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you gonna be in Deadpool too, either of you? No. no. Seems, I like, just, seems I like you should. I auditioned for Deadpool for T.J. Miller's part. Yeah? And I did such a bad job. Really? In the audition, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, auditions suck. Mm -hmm. It's like never fun or good. But was the script, uh, were the jokes in the script funny or did I they punch the it up? Script. You know what I mean? Like, But your, your character, did he say funny things or did T.J. make all that shit up? Uh, I did not give. Funny. It sounds I, very I he, TJ. You I know? think he made it up because when he I says you look like you face fucked a topographical <laughs> map of Utah right, or whatever, right. that's I, really that him. Up, I think I don't know. I would but think so. On the script that I auditioned with, there weren't really jokes. It's like a character they didn't make funny without actual jokes. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I just did like not. <laughs> I just walked out and I was like, oh man, I really. I don't think I did a very good job. <laughs> 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 What's one that got away from you, Zach? Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what are you guys saying? So what's that thing that you like? I oh, heard I you were up from me. the Adam Divine role yeah. in The Intern, but you ended up getting the Zach Perlman part. I think that's switched, babe. Big babe. Did you see Mike and Dave, and Dave need wedding dates? <laughs> uh, yeah, Mike and Dave need medicine. I saw that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was... You know, Adam was really funny, dude. He's just hilarious. He's a funny dude. dude. He's a funny dude. He was on this show once, but I think he's gone from us now. No way, man. I don't think he'll come back. Who? I don't know. Telling me some weed, I'm dude. I'm still trying to pick I forgot who we were talking about. The Academy Award. What do you think of this? When did Aaron Brockovich... <laughs> Describe that. Describe what? Oh, yeah. Not Aaron Brockovich, the monkey. God damn it. How does it feel? Why is it so hard for you to look up? Because I'm high, man. <laughs> I can't do let's, anything. Let's see if I can find you. it faster. Yeah, yeah, you do it. I'll try to find it. Ellen Burstyn was nominated for an Academy Award for what Requiem year? For a dream. What year? What year did Aaron Brockovich win? Oh, Academy that's good. Award You're gonna ask Siri. Oh, wait. There's actress. Just one of me. Oh, I Jesus know. Christ! Are you married? What year? <laughs> it started with "Are you married?" That's uh. God, I've never asked Siri. Ooh, Ellen Burstyn Oscar snub. <coughs> oh, Top 10 biggest that. Oscar snubs of the past 40 years. I, I might turn that into a fun game. Okay. I'm you there. know, I mean, on Doug Lowe's movies. This show's about weed, you guys. Hey, I have, a, um, I have an Oscar snub for you. Okay. Now, I think it was 89. And it was um, Driving Miss Daisy. Boom. Do the right Ellen thing. Burstyn lost to Julia Roberts for Aaron Brockovich. So we spent all this time looking up what we all thought was probably <laughs> right. That's very... I just wanted proof. <laughs> but right, she lost to Juliette Binoche for Chocolat. Great movie. And the performance, whatever. Like, it's, it's a movie. Laura Linney, You Can Count On Me, very good. 
Yeah, no, that was Ke- that was Kenneth Lonergan, who's yeah. now getting a lot of praise from Manchester by the Sea. Joan what was Allen, the snub you were going to say, bit? Zach? I said driving Miss Davy- Daisy. Davey. Be- <laughs> yeah, driving. That's what it's called. <laughs> driving Miss Daisy beat out. Um, I think it was eighty nine. Beat out Do the Right Thing for Best Picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. Or when Crash won anything. Yeah. Crash won. Crash won. And The King's Speech was an okay movie, but it wasn't. Like, there's always a more important movie. Traffic uh, got beat by Gladiator. Yeah, that's weird. (laughs) (laughs) Gladiator was a weird one, because I I thought, I didn't think that was a bad movie, but the one that everybody, the number one uh, snub on this list was when Shakespeare in Love won over Saving Private Ryan. Well, that's not that big a snub. Goodfellas didn't win Best Picture. Fargo didn't win Best Picture. Ralph Ray Fiennes didn't win for Schindler's List. Wait, he didn't? I could have swore he did. Yes, he did. He won mm. for um, Harry Potter. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. Voldemort is much scarier <laughs> than Nazis. I no, I can't. Oh, it's your friend unknown. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see who won instead. Oh, Tommy Lee Jones won for The Fugitive. For Men in Black 2. <laughs> I mean, you know, saying we have to look at every outhouse, doghouse, house, 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 house. Saying Mm -hmm. that is a lot harder than killing Jewish people. You got it. Not killing Jewish people. Oh no, he kills. He kills the shit out of them. Oh, he kills the shit. Oh, Ray Fiennes is like, oh, there's Schindler and Schindler's List. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. He's not right. Yeah. God. (laughs) All right. Well, we went off there on some (laughs) on a whole movie thing. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's talk about New York City and chronic pain. Mm. Starting in 2014, New York doctors can prescribe medical marijuana in non-smokable forms to people with one of 10 serious medical conditions, uh, including HIV, AIDS, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis. Yeah, I mean, when that marijuana helps all these things, it just makes it... Like just, it seems inevitable that at least for medicine, it's going to be all right. You know, people, nobody wants somebody to not have some medicine, right? Yeah, I need to. Do yeah, that. Pfizer you know, does. What can you be about? against people having medicine? My like, eyes been twitching. Sick I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm with you. But, like, people uh-huh. suck. My eye has been t- twitching for three days nonstop. It's not twitching right now. <gasps> Seriously, it's another it marijuana miracle. It is. Seriously, man. Guys, get it out there. You got a little eye twitch. But also, we have really good water here, so it might have been the water. Could just be the good times. You're focused on something else right now, which is just hanging out. Oh, boy, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, so was it twitching when you got here? Yes. You didn't seem twitchy to me. Because it'd be interesting if you were twitching at the beginning of this episode. Well, you just picked that up and and described it. But I don't think you were. Yeah, how, mostly the weight. How do you feel about the weight of it? It's good. It's good. I really like. You like it? You I like. Feel positive I like about holding how it weighs. In my hand. But don't you think it's a bit much? Like if a child, if a child had it in their hands or something, is yeah, it it's a, a little, lighter. It's a children's it, toy. Well, yeah, it's definitely not light though. For a lighter, it's not light. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> it's a heavy lighter. You did it. <laughs> That like cleared my sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag heavy monkey. We oh, got it's it. Heavy monkey. We did. <laughs> we did it. We Jesus got him to say it. Christ. I'm sure that's always fun to listen to in a cubicle. Happy holidays, and we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> Foolish wizard! When the sands in this dark hourglass run out. Its power will be mine! <laughs> Sorry, I should take this. It's my roommate. It, it could be an emergency. What? Come on! Hey, Elizabeth, is everything okay? No, Margaret. Everything is not okay. Oh my god, what's wrong? I can't find the remote! I can't find the remote! Dude! 
I told you not to bother me at work unless it's an emergency. This is beyond emergency, Margaret. This is the season finale of RuPaul's Drag Race Drag Race, and it starts in five minutes. Monster queens driving monster trucks. Who's going to end up on top, and who's going to be a bottom forever? Help! This is so unprofessional! Definitely not an emergency. Can I call you back? I'm kind of busy. Margaret! Is I... Hold on! Oh, my God. Okay, so did you track under the couch? Duh. Okay, well, did, including the cushions? Yeah. Okay, what about the kitchen? Why would it be in the kitchen? You're always in the kitchen. I'm never in the kitchen. I keep all my food in the living room so I can grab it from the couch. I'm not walking all the way over there. It's ten feet away. Just check. Come on! Why are you kidding me right I'm not seeing it, dude. You do realize I'm about to kill you. Shut right? up! I just found it. Toads dropped it in my bag of chips. My bad. Love you. Bye. It's getting up with high. Gonna get in there in the space for your entertainment. It's getting up with high. In the spacement for your entertainment. That was by Tim Donovan, and you can find him on Twitter at Adult Twim. And his IG is Tim Zero. <laughs> T H Y D zero and zero. Oh, and those are O's. <laughs> yeah, they're zeros. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Those yeah. zeros. Yeah. I bet you his Twitter has. Uh, you could just click on his Instagram on Twitter yeah. and just go right there because that's that's the craziest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Let's get your plugs in, you guys. Plug Scooby Doo, dude. Uh, Matt co-wrote, directed, and stars in The Night is Young on iTunes, Amazon, and more. Mm-hmm. It's coming out January 10th. Yes. January 10th. And uh, yeah. it's all in all those places on January 10th? Mm-hmm. It makes it sound like it's it's uh, out right now. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be on demand January 10th. Okay. That's how you do it. Who else is in that? Um, Zach is in it. That's what I was hoping. Zach's in it. That's exciting. Um, and a bunch of other people. <laughs> bunch of great All people. All right, Matt Jones on uh, Mom Thursday nights uh, at nine on CBS. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably like you're probably the weediest thing that's happened on CBS because that's a pretty uh, oh you can't old timey inhaling right. So I can't have it to my lips. So this is how you do it. And they it. just call you that all the time, yeah, too. Yeah, you'd be like this. I'd be like, this? Hey, you stoner. And then they cut away. Stupid they stoner. They cut to something else. Yeah. And then it, it, it cut back, and I'm blowing it out. So you can blow it out. Yeah. You That's can, interesting. You exhale it, but you just can't inhale it. Or have it touch your lips. It's, um... We're tr- yeah, yeah. We're trying to go next level over at, uh, you know, Comedy Central. We're working it out, the details. Mm. But uh, hopefully on my show, you'll just you'll just see people straight up. Inhaling and exhaling. Yeah, I don't know why. Ripping weed, dude. Right. Just ripping. Dude. I wanted to get a camera that spun around like a uh, '70s show. Yeah. We yeah. just take monster hits when we're not on camera. You hold it so it can't come back to you while you're taking a hit. Zach Perlman will next be seen in Why Him uh, <laughs> with Brian Cranston and James Franco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen, been seeing the trailer a lot for that. Yeah, dude. It's got some humorous parts. It's gonna be. It's a funny one. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's a class. You got a good a, feeling about it? Um, yeah. It's. You it's, ever been like in a comedy that you were unhappy with how it turned out? Because I every time I sure. see you in a comedy, I, I think they're all pretty good, right? Thanks, man. Um, yeah, they're. I like the Satin cool. Island Summer. I like that one too. That was fun. I thought Hop Out was a piece of work. What? Hop Out wasn't that good. What's it called again? Hot bot. It's real. Bad. Hot bot. Hey guys, if you can. Oh, make it's it, like it's, it's like weird science, yeah. but you're the scientist that makes a hot hot robot lady. No, but we don't make it's, it. We just find it. It's you less find a hot robot lady. <laughs> it's less interesting than you and two one kids pal or two hooking pals? up a telephone to a Barbie doll and getting like a real life person. We just like find one on the side of the road. It's so dumb. Who's the robot? Find a sex robot? Who plays yeah, the robot? I, I think I've seen some of this. I um, thought it was a fever dream. It feel it f- for me. It feels like a who's the robot? Fever dream. Do you remember? Do you have to look yeah. it up? Look it up. 
I got it. What's called hot pot. All right, but for, hey, see you in 20 minutes, dude. And also, you can see him on Shameless. But let's for now, you guys have to well, don't do your phone just yet. Yeah. You guys, you guys have to watch a uh, magic trick. Magic trick. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. It's game time. Hey guys. Hi. Hey, How's it going? Good. Good. All right, Matt, you mind helping me with this first part? Sure. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take this invisible deck of cards, okay. place it down there. Mm -hmm. I want you to pick it up yep. and throw it into the spacement atmosphere, and they're okay. going to all float above us. All right. Zach, I want you to uh. stand up and pluck one of those cards. Okay. All right. Out. All right, which card did you take? I got the two of spades. The okay. two of spades? Check this out. I actually turned one card oh, in no. this entire deck uh -uh. over the two of spades. Whoa, what? dude, that's so what? crazy! Oh, witch! Oh, that's that. a witch, dude. I did not enjoy that. That's a witch. It was too good. It scared me. That's a witch. Make him float. Ugh. Tie some rocks on his <laughs> legs and make him float. I hated that. Yeah, that's upsetting. Because I switched so it that, in that, my that, head. That was upsetting. And I hated it. Cynthia Kirchner? <laughs> yeah. She played the hot pot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sim. I love that's your great. picture on IMDb, too. What is what is it? I'll say it. Oh, that's great. Oh, that is a nice photo. Right? That's, that's a good cute. one. I'm a little cute boy. <laughs> You're just like, hey, I'm gonna hang out behind this this uh, cactus, or whatever the me, fuck this is. Me and this cactus, we're best friends. Mm -hmm. And then it poked me. But I that's a pretty out. recent picture, because that's where that's exactly where your hair's at. That was like a few months How ago. How many pairs of glasses do you own? I change. Um, you have a lot of fun with changing up the glasses. Yeah. I actually just changed my glasses because I got sick of them. So I was like, I don't want to wear those anymore. And now I'm I think you like these my hair until, off in Japan. I don't think you like those in legs summertime. Off. What? I don't think you're gonna like those glasses in summertime. Why? I I feel like the all, all the edges of it would get very hot in the sun. Mm. I, I, it's my uh, feeling. How long is he gonna be standing in the sun? I'm just telling yeah. you that. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure my fair summertime skin. Glasses. <laughs> My fair skin does a lot worse than my glasses <laughs> in the sun. No, I mean you just reach up, you know, like if you're in the valley. I just you I shoot a lot the, of shameless in the valley, right? I was at the LA Zoo yesterday with uh -huh. my son, who's like 12 months old, and we were playing on this like uh, they have a, a playground inside of the LA Zoo, like play equipment, and there was this sign that said, "This park is this uh, playground is closed during extreme heat." Otherwise, the metal will cause serious, uh, serious burns to your Ooh. your skin. They'll cause. There was a sign that said Severus only that. Snape. Severus burns. Yeah. <laughs> that was his uh, his friend. Well, I'm glad we had a fun story to end the show on. <laughs> you guys did a great job. Oh. Hey, you did too. It was too. fun to hang out with you, and yeah. I just loaded this thing up, so I'm going to take another hit out of it. Jesus. It's like, it's like a race I just can't win. No, well, you don't have to, you no, know, no, that's the like, thing. It's not everyone has to compete. Yeah, that's, you know, that's some the way people, I should Some people can sit in the stands. <laughs> and some, some people, people can sell popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Can I hold and Some people are Michael like, Jordan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But some people are also, you know. I heard he was high player. every time he played anything, especially baseball. Yeah? Yeah. That would be cool. I don't know. I heard the Beatles got high. Wild, right? So crazy. That's crazy. It's freaking sick, dude. We don't freaking know when the next show is gonna Beatles, be, mm. but hopefully we'll get one more in before the end of the year. Maybe not. We might see you next year. Thanks, Zach and Matt. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Woo!